What's up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers i'm barbas i know it's been about a week or two that i have not uploaded but i've been extremely busy i have not touched the civic i have not done anything to the civic uh the last video that i did with the hood dump um the hood exit i finished the video i still needed to rivet some of these on here as you can see the holes are still there but the little rivet machine broke on me so i'm gonna have to go to harbor freight and pick up another one just so i can finish that um today we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna pull the harness bar the seatbelt harness bar that's in the back right here we are gonna pull it out and we are gonna paint it to match my engine bay if you're new to the channel thank you for subscribing this is my 96 Honda Civic. FedEx. This is my 96 Honda Civic. It's got a D16A. The short block is built. Um, Speed Factory rods. Um, YCP pistons. ARP head studs and we also have a block guard in there and then we got a stage four I believe clutch yeah stage four clutch with a lightweight eight pound flywheel this is the transmission with the longer gears and I did that because I'm building this vehicle for roll racing um, Yes, it is boosted, and I went ahead and I painted the whole engine compartment gold. That's kind of the theme, the vision that I had in my previous car. And yeah, with that being said, we're going to match that to this color. If you guys are wondering about the shirt that I'm wearing, I donated 10 bucks at Walmart for the Children's Hospital, and they just gave it to me. So I decided to use Rocket. On this video so I'm gonna go ahead and move that Civic over and back far away and then we're gonna go ahead and pull this bar out and once I have it out we'll back up this car out of the way today is extremely hot outside it's 93 degrees Let me refresh it see if there's anything new all right so it's still 93 degrees it is very hot so ho hopefully we don't have any problems when we lay down this paint
Wow, look at all this garbage that was under there. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this out and then we'll bring our bar this way. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with a 400. This is gonna be just a straight up color change. Nothing's gonna be repaired or anything on it. So the 400 should be good to get the next paint to stick on there. I'm gonna go ahead and start a quick little time lapse of the sanding. I went ahead and I hung it from the rafters and the way how I hung it, I tied a rope across and then I used some bungee cords. I did try using the bungee cord just straight up like this, but it was leaving this bar way too low for me to paint. So what I did is I looped it over the rope and I double bungeed it. As you guys can see. So I did clean this off with mineral spirits and it's nice and dull it's ready to accept paint we're gonna go ahead get our paint mix and start laying some coats down we are gonna mix this eight to one so where the cup says eight one one we're gonna go down and fill it up to the number two with paint It's almost there. All right. I went ahead and I went a little bit over. That's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put some reducer in there and go a little bit over on the next line. All right, now we are gonna go ahead and add the hardener, which is also the gloss, which is this right here. And this is gonna go on the next line. And we are also gonna go a little bit over on the next line. We'll get it mixed up and our paint should be ready. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my mask on and we are ready to jam. I went ahead also and I laid some water on the floor. That way I protect the floor from any overspray. Um, it looks like it's starting to dry so I'm gonna lay a little bit more water down.
finished the paint job, I immediately clean the gun. That's something you want to do immediately as soon as you're done painting. I broke my gun down and I threw some pieces in here. With this stuff, acetone, that's what I like to use. It's very strong and it gets the job done really fast. Check out what this looks like. It's very shiny, very glossy. That gun lays the paint very well. It's been around an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and move it. I'm gonna bring the Civic into the garage and then we'll go ahead and see if we mock this back up inside the Civic. I went ahead and I placed the bar over here. It was originally over there hanging and now I have it here. I am not gonna install this today because of the fact that I am gonna let this paint harden and I don't wanna risk me touching anything. Like it's already like dry to the touch where I could like grab it and stuff, but I could feel that if I was to squeeze on it, my fingers might sink into it. But I'm not sure. So I'm not gonna risk it, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it dry up. Welcome back you guys. It's been about a week that this has been sitting here. It is completely dry now. As you guys can see, I have been extremely busy um, working and doing other stuff. Uh, today I went to the eye doctor and I'm, I'm starting to not see at night that great or at a distance. So I had to get a prescription written up for glasses. Um, yeah, I've been extremely busy and I'm still trying to upload videos and I'm still trying to create videos for you guys. But I think that my videos are starting to slow down. So I'm gonna start posting videos every now and then. Um, I was doing an everyday sort of thing and that really wasn't working out. I was rushing everything to try to get a video out for you guys. And then I ended up doing um, Tuesday, Thursday, Sundays. And that would give me a little bit more time to upload videos for you guys. But like I said, the fact that I needed to have some kind of income flow I really couldn't concentrate on doing this like this so now what I might do is just bust a video maybe once a week or once every like week and a half something like that um, that way I can keep the content flowing so let me go ahead and throw that bar back into the car and we'll see what it looks like all right so I got it installed um, I went ahead and I peeled the stickers that were on each side and I placed them right here and I did that because I had a drip on the other side that went like this so I wanted to cover up the drip so I did it with the sticker I really didn't want to put any more time into wet sanding and making this into like a show quality sort of thing so that's pretty much how I did it let me show you on this side what I'm talking about. So I got the sticker on this side, but you can see where the drip came off. It actually came this way and then it piled up right here, like a big teardrop right here. So this is fine. I'm pretty satisfied how it looks. It looks very nice. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be the end of the video. Um, don't think that I'm not interested in continuing and uploading videos, um, because I am. You guys know I've always been uploading for the longest. Um, yeah, so the only reason is because of financial, my financial situation, that's why my videos have slowed down. But I will continue making more videos eventually. Um, in the next week, you guys will see probably another video 
on something else that we are gonna do to the Civic. If anybody wants to buy stickers also, that would also help out with the build. Just leave me a message down below and that would definitely help out. Uh, besides that, I'll catch you guys in a few days. Till then, thank you for subscribing to the channel and thank you for following me. Peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.